Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Our proceedings are about to commence. Please take your seats. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. We, the Australia Lebanon Chamber of Commerce and Industry, acknowledge the traditional Aboriginal owners of country throughout Victoria and pay respect to them, their culture and their elders, past, present and future. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome your Master of Ceremonies this evening, the Chief Political Reporter of Sky News, Mr. Kieran Gilbert. Thank you, everyone. Such an honour, such a wonderful honour to be here with you all this evening. Uh, my mother is from the mountains of Lebanon. Uh, I'll tell you a bit more about her, my heritage, her life a bit later, but I'm so proud of uh, my Lebanese heritage, so proud to be here this evening. Thank you for having me. If I can start by please asking everyone to stand. We're going to have the national anthems for you. Nasia Delis will sing the Australian national anthem and the Our Lady of Lebanon Choir will sing the Lebanese anthem. Thank you. Sahala, ladies and gentlemen, welcome. It's uh, my, uh, my Arabic is a little bit, uh, a little bit scratchy, but I'll have a crack here and there. And as I said, uh, it's actually 80 years. July next year marks 80 years since my uh, mother's family arrived on a boat in Sydney, uh, the Mansours from Hadin, uh, the same village as Nimtala Hadini, one of the Lebanese saints. Uh, and uh, I'm very proud of my mother, her legacy, uh, and. Uh, and, and as I know so many of you are in this room of, of the legacy of the Lebanese people in this country, it's made it a better country, there's no doubt about it. And uh, uh, we, we look forward, I look forward to celebrating that with you this evening. If you could please now, uh, well, Nasia Delis as well is going to join us again on the stage. She's going to sing us the theme song for the Australian Lebanon Chamber of Commerce and Industry, an organisation which Fadi and everyone else is building and has built to try and maintain this legacy of... Uh, the, the Lebanese contribution in this country. Thank you. Land and ocean, we moved far and wide. We didn't want to leave the village we call home 
But for a better future for generations on and on, we headed for Australia and believed good things to come. We remember our culture, don't forget where you're from. Village to village, the place we call home. As a family together, we are strong. Now this is the place we call home, Australia. We headed in the footsteps and dug our feet into the ground, never forgetting who we are. Remembering the stories passed down from old to young. Lebanon's my culture, but today this is my home. We remember our culture, don't forget where you're from. Village to village, the place we call home. As a family together, we are strong. Now this is the place we call home, Australia. We were torn apart, leaving everything behind. Not knowing what's to come, running from our lives one by one. We are strong, we hold on to Lebanon. As a family together, we are strong. Now this is the place we call home. We remember our culture, don't forget where you're from. Village to village, the place we call home. As a family together, we are strong. Now this is the place we call home, Australia, Australia, Australia. This is home. And this is the place we. Hello, hello, El Sot. Beautiful. We have uh, wonderful dignitaries here today, special guests. I'm going to welcome each of them on behalf of Fadi Zuki, OAM, President and Chairperson of the ALCCI and everyone associated with the ALCCI. First of all, representing Premier Daniel Andrews, we have this evening Philip Daladakis, Honourable Phil Daladakis, MLC, the Minister for Small Business, Trade and Investment, and Mrs Daladakis, thank you for being here. Uh, Bruce Atkinson, MLC, President of the Victorian Legislative Council. We saw a picture of uh, Steve Brax, the Honourable Steve Brax AC, the most successful uh, Australian of Lebanese heritage in, in politics. His legacy continues today. And a round of applause for <laughs> Steve Brax. Patron, uh, patron as well as, I should say, of the ALCCI. Uh, His Excellency Milad Rad, uh, Lebanese Ambassador to Australia, Mrs Rula. Azar, thank you for being here. Her Excellency Rebecca Grinlay, Australian Ambassador, designate to Lebanon. We wish you well on your travels and your, your uh, term over in Beirut. I'm sure it'll be a wonderful time for you. Uh, Mr Hussein El Hawley, representing Saad Hari Hariri, the Prime Minister of Lebanon. Thank you for being here. His Excellency Antoine Charbel Tarabe, the Maronite Bishop of Australia. The Honourable Inga Paulich, MP, Shadow Minister for Multicultural Affairs. 
Mr. Nazir Alazma, the Deputy President of the Legislative Council, and Mrs. Alazma, thank you. His Excellency Syed Al Kamzi, Consul General of the United Arab Emirates for Melbourne. Mr. Mohammed Fakhri, the Consul General for the Arab Republic of Egypt in Melbourne, and Mrs. Shireen Wehebe. And uh, the Honourable Ziad Atani, Consul General for Lebanon here in Melbourne. Mr. Syed Haddad, representing the Honourable Samir Jaja, MP, Leader of the Lebanese Forces. Lieutenant Colonel Majed Mafarej Alamari, Police Attaché at the Consul General for the United Arab, Arab Emirates. Major Abdulaziz Salem Mohammed Al Junabai, Vice Police Attaché at the Consul General for the United Arab Emirates here in Melbourne. Monsignor Emmanuel Saher, a Maronite Episcopal Vicar for Families. Father Hovig Budakin, representing Father Charles Hitti, the superior of the Maronite Antonine monks in Australia. Sheikh Ali Jaber, Islamic leader of the Victorian Shiite Association. Sheikh Samir El Basha, Islamic leader of the Victorian Alawite Association. Father George El Khoury from St. Paul's Orthodox Antiochian Church and Mrs. El Khoury. Mr. Paul Evans, former Assistant Commissioner of Victoria Police and Mrs. Evans. Dr. Salim Sfair, CEO and Chairperson of the Bank of Beirut, a wonderful partner of the ALCCI. Thank you for being here. Also from the Bank of Beirut, we have Roger Dager, the Chief Financial Officer, Mr. Faoud Chaker, the Senior Executive Office as well. From the Bank of Sydney, Mr. Miltos Michaelius, the CEO of the Bank of Sydney. Thank you. <laughs> Executive General Manager at the Bank, uh, Mr. Fawaz Sonkari. Uh, we have uh, Dr. Uh, Mr. George Descala, Acting Director for International Market Development Trade in Victoria. Mr. Carl Cowie, Chief Officer at the Nillenbuck Shire, and Mrs. Cowie. Mr. Milad Zorab, the Vice Chair of the American Lebanese Chamber of Commerce, all the way from Michigan. Thank you for making that effort to be here. Appreciate it. <laughs> Mr. Wasim Jamal, representing the Tripoli Chamber of Commerce and Industry. Mr. Tanios Shaguri, Founder, Secretary General of the Western African Lebanese Business Association. Ms. Rohini Kapadath, Chairperson of the Multicultural Business Advisory Council, and Mr. Kapadath, Mr. Alan Lakal, highly acclaimed Australian designer to the stars, and uh, Ms. Jessica Ka Kahawati, the Miss World Australia 2012, and many other awards. Thank you for being here. Now, uh, some of my colleagues from Foxtel, the stars from Melbourne Housewives, my friends, thank you. Thank you for being here. Lovely to see you here. And also your rivals from Yummy Mummies at Channel 7. Also here. Ladies and gentlemen, dignitaries, thank you so much for being here, your support for the Australia Lebanon Chamber of Commerce and Industry. To welcome you now on behalf of the ALCCI, please put your hands together for the founder and chairman, Mr. Fadi Zuki. Your Excellencies, Reverend Fathers, Shiyukhna Allah Fadil, distinguished guests, family and friends. We, the Australia-Lebanon Chamber of Commerce and Industry, acknowledge that we stand on land of which the Wurundjeri people are the traditional custodians. We remember their forebears with respect and acknowledge their generations past, present and future. Tonight, we celebrate our annual gala ball, Prosperity Through Diversity a theme that encompasses and encapsulates all that the ALCCI strives towards and holds dear. When we say the words diversity, our minds more often than not are instantaneously drawn towards the idea of multiculturalism or even perhaps gender, sexual orientation, disability, social background, and the like. But diversity should never be categorized. Most importantly, my friends, diversity is a thought. Diversity lies in our minds, for no mind is alike. Our greatest strength, our great tool, our greatest weapon, no less lies in our differences. This is diversity. Trade and commerce is global language. It's the essence of stable economies and political systems. Hence, the chamber embarks on the task of strengthening the bridge of two-way trade and commerce between Australia, Lebanon, and the Lebanese diaspora. Race, religion, and other values are essential in the fabrics of successful two-way trade. Thus, 
it is important for any business to have the appetite of acceptance and understanding in order to become a successful partner in business from all corners of the world. The significance of diversity lies not in what we possess in the way of similarities, but rather how difference def uh, defines us. The word different or difference is so habitually connoted with a negative dogma that we discount the beauty that lies within our differences. Tonight is not about multiculturalism or political correctness. It is about inclusion in the world of business. For when we band, to uh, band together and unite in our spirit of diversity, only then do we see our true potential and achieve a true measure of greatness. It is the unification of spirit that fosters a foundation for prosperity. Most notably, I must recognize all the achievements of the chamber has accomplished in the last year. The historical visit of the general, um, His Excellency Mr. Joseph Aoun, the historical visit of Dr. Joseph Jabra from the American University of Beirut, where we forged a strong relationship with Monash University, a multitude of meetings with, uh, and dinners with significant political figures here in Australia, participating and working towards the success of the LDE hosted in Sydney, assisting individuals to come to Australia to network, to grow business, as well as assisting Australians with regards to guiding them towards investments in Lebanon. I'd like to acknowledge the outstanding work of the women's group and the young entrepreneurs. We are very excited to invite you all to attend the Khalil Jobran's exhibition in which the chamber is playing an active support in its success, which is going to be held in December in the Immigration Museum. And here I would like to acknowledge Ms. Rohini and her executive team for the exhibit. And here I must also acknowledge the Honorable Steve Rax for being the leading patron and supporter of it. I would like to thank our special guest and keynote speaker. And here today, I'd like to acknowledge Mr. Anwar Harb and his lovely wife, and Sarkis Nasif and his lovely wife, and many others who came from interstate. Minister Dilatakis, who realizes the value of diversity as a key success in business. He established multicultural ministerial councils to advise government on how to support multicultural business to flourish, prosper, and continue to sustain itself and support the state of Victoria. I would like to give a special thank to you, to our Lebanese diplomats, Your Excellency Mr. Milad Rad and His Excellency Mr. Ziad Aitani for their continued support to the chamber. I would also like to thank our departing Australian ambassador to Lebanon, His Excellency Mr. Glenn Miles, and I welcome the incoming Her Excellency Mrs. Rebecca Gindley and all those diplomats who supported the Lebanese diaspora such as the United Arab Emirates and many other international governments. Members of the clergy who play a role in promoting acceptance and inclusion. Here I would like to acknowledge Bishop Tarabai and all the sheikhs from the Islamic faith who work tirelessly in leading their communities and the wider community to become an intrinsic part of the Australian society. Indeed, there are great leaders, and Bishop Tarabai here, I would like to reinforce our confidence in your leadership and all that you have done for your community and the wider Australian community. We thank you for your significant and unparalleled dedication and hard work towards our community. Your vision and mission for the wider Lebanese community has remained clear and unwavering. You are a true example to us all, and we will continue to support you in all your endeavors. I would like to thank all those who traveled from interstate and overseas again to join us for our celebration. There are people who came from Africa, from the United States, from Lebanon. Um, I can't thank you enough. Without you, this event could not be possibly successful. I would also like to thank all our entertainers this evening, Ms. Nesia Dallas, uh, uh, Ms. Celine Khoury and Braden uh, Taylor, um, and also Ms. Claude, Mr. Claude Kauchi, um, father of Vic Badakian and his fantastic choir, who will take us into a journey that you will all enjoy. And of course, uh, our great MC tonight, we welcome you, and we'll, we are very, very happy to have you with us tonight as well. Thanks uh, for that. I would also like to thank this um, so, uh, super uh, stars, Mr. Fadi Sharabil and Ms. Joanna Karaki, who have traveled from all the way from Lebanon to entertain us this evening. We thank you for bestowing us with the gift of laughter and joy. 
I would very much also like to thank our, uh, the gorgeous Miss Jessica Kahwati for being with us this evening. You are the most outstanding and perfect representation of the Australian Lebanese community on the world stage. And we celebrate you with every achievement and we are so proud of you. I must further note that Ms. Kahwati is the honorary member of this chamber. Here I would like especially to recognize other chambers of commerce and industry to join us this evening, particularly Mr. Tofik Dabusi, represented by Mr. Wizam Jamal from Tripoli Chamber of Commerce and Industry, and the Lebanese American Chamber of Commerce and Industry, represented by Mr. Milad Zurab and Mr. Shahuri from Africa. Most importantly, I would like to thank all our sponsors, supporters, and above all, the attendees. A heartfelt thank you for your continued and unwavering support. I would like to thank the directors of the ALCCI for their continued trust in me and very deep gratitude goes to the organizing committee with whom this event would not be possible. I would like to especially like to thank Bernadette Khoury, Salim Khoury, Mirai Zuki, Rosanna Baini, Paul Antti Dabli, Claude Lombard, John Haddad, and Peter Dallas, and, uh, and many, many others. And um, thank you. Now, Dr. Salim Sfer. There are sometimes institutions and there are sometimes individuals who are institutions. Dr. Sfer, you are an institution, no less than an icon. We would like to thank you for your outstanding support to the chamber and every institution and organization of value that you have supported over the years. You are a man of substance. We are proud of your leading banks, Bank of Beirut and Bank of Sydney. Dr. Sfer is one of those rare and highly commended individuals that is what I like to call a once in a lifetime gentleman. Dr. Sfer, on behalf of Australia, Lebanon Chamber of Commerce, we truly are so grateful for you. You have been an honoring example of everything that ALCCI stands for. You are a truly building bridges of opportunity for all of us further bringing the Phoenician toils to Australian lands. It is on this, this spirit that is with the greatest sense of pride and joy, not only in my heart, but in those of the board ALCCI in 2017, the chamber has the honor of naming you, Dr. Sfer, as the honorary chairman of the ALCCI. Now, may I ask you for something because I cannot tell you how much we appreciate this fine gentleman. Can we all stand up and, and uh, do a toast for Dr. Salim Sfer, please. So Dr. Salim Sfer. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Finally, I call on Australia to support Lebanon economically. Lebanon has a lot to offer. It plays an important role in the MENA region. It is one of the largest exporter of highly skilled human resource, needless to mention the discovery of natural gas and oil on the Lebanese coast. The beauty, the hospitality, the history it got to offer, one must see. Lebanon cannot just be read in a magazine or a newspaper, if you like. Lebanon has to be felt, has to be seen, in order to enjoy the great value of it. We also want to remind, Le uh, remind we also want to remind Lebanon and the Lebanese diaspora around the world that Australia is open for business, specifically Victoria, Melbourne, six or seven times the most liberal city in the world. That is something to be very proud of. We want to thank the Australian government, its people, for providing the atmosphere of acceptance in business. A round of applause to Australia and its people. Please take advantage of tonight, network, meet new friends, celebrate diversity, and from the bottom of my heart, I wish you prosperity.